Saudi Arabia. Inside the kingdom, what they're calling an anti-corruption sweep, an unprecedented cleaning house with dozens of the country's most powerful princes, military officers, businessmen, and ministers all arrested. In Lebanon, Riyadh accused of being behind the prime minister's resignation this week. And today, Saudi Arabia rather suddenly summoning Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas to the kingdom. Here with us to tie it all together is our senior Middle East correspondent, Mohammed Al Qasim. Mohammed, great to have you as always. Let's start with Mahmoud Abbas. We sort of woke up to the news that he was being called to Saudi Arabia. How serious was this a summoning or a friendly let's sit down and talk? Well, let's say it's a friendly let's sit down and talk, but it has a lot of seriousness underneath it. Two issues there, uh, both President Mahmoud Abbas, the king and the crown prince will be discussing Iran and the peace process. Iran, we've seen that uh, the rhetoric from Riyadh against Iran has heightened, has increased in the last uh, few days. We've seen that uh, former Prime Minister of Lebanon, Saad al-Hariri, resigned from Riyadh, accusing both Hezbollah and Iran of meddling in Arab affairs. The second part is the peace process. Last week, Jared Kushner, son-in-law of President Donald Trump, and his uh, envoy to the Middle East, he was in Saudi Arabia. He discussed the peace process with, uh, uh, with the Saudi king and crown prince, who is now the controlling uh, person, so to speak, in the region within the Arab moderate states and Sunni bloc. And he discussed the uh, parameters, the how the vision of the U.S. administration to revive the stalled peace process. And that's why we see President Abbas there. Hamas has visited uh, and getting closer to Iran, met with uh, Saleh al aruri deputy Hamas's leader, met in Lebanon with uh, Hassan Nasrallah. That is something that that upset Saudi Arabia, and the message is, don't get close to Iran, otherwise you lose our support. 